My mum used to tell me stories of this place, of when I grew up, when Dad was around. I had promised myself that I would go back there to Furnace Creek, back to the place it started and ended. My dad died in the Furnace Creek Massacre. It wiped out everyone in the town. Now this place is a ghost town. I remember the day my mum told me. I remember thinking that he died for no reason. I remember thinking he didn't need to do what he did. But dad wasn't right when he died. He was poor and scared. He seemed spaced out and distraught the last time I saw him, before it happened. No one seemed to press charges. The police and authorities tried to interview us about Dad. But Mum never wanted to speak to them. We ran away out of the house, onto the streets. We had no money, no food. But now we are back to the place that we started. I went to Dad's writing shack, to the place he died. There was writing all over the walls, scribbled in, of a madman. The last thing he wrote on the walls. I never wanted to admit to what happened. I never wanted to admit that my dad was the killer. And that my dad killed himself. But it happened.